Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you guys what's inside this Biotronic Cardio Messenger. Now this thing is used for people that have um, pacemakers and this what this does is this sends a signal to the both the pacemaker and the hospital that they go to and this basically alerts them of any kind of problems and allows people to get medical service faster as well as schedule appointments and other various things so it's a really cool device now this thing no longer works so this actually found this at a local um, thrift shop for only what like 50 cents or so now this thing may not have that much in it, but it's really an interesting thing to be able to take apart. So I've already rem I've already cut through the seals at the bottom, um, so we're ready to go. And on the side, you can see can't see that, but it says remote scheduling, which means this has a wireless module in it. This is just a snap I used to hold it up. So let's begin. So the first thing, it's a good idea to do is to remove the two screws on the back and both of those are Torx bits. Now the next thing is interesting to note is there's actually a keep dry little icon there and a read manual so this must mean it's very sensitive against any kind of moisture. So now we got those two out all we gotta do here is just depress on both of these tabs and pull up and shift to the other side here so those two screws that we removed that's actually a power input jack interesting um, now that we've removed those two screws this whole thing comes right off this thing comes right apart so just pull up in and out and there's our piece of plastic backing and now look at this it's quite interesting this is quite complex. That looks like the antenna module there. Um, it's probably used. These are two different types of antennas. This is a helical, and this is a. Um, I don't know what kind of antenna this is, but there are two different types of antennas. I'm guessing one to communicate to the pacemaker, and the other to communicate with the hospital. I'm not sure, but anyway, what's kind of cool is that there are selves nice gold plated area and that's the CPU module the processor and a nice copper antenna that's probably just copper plated brass or steel and we got ourselves another kind of antenna here there's, a, there's like three different antennas interesting but anyway so let's get this opened up let's remove the screws we got on here there's two of them one to the left and to the right see one there and one there and I'm gonna undo those and we'll go from there I popped out those two screws and just lift up on the entire assembly so now we got ourselves an empty piece of plastic and that appears to be we used to have a recycling symbol on it and it says polycarbonate and ABS so since those are mixed I tend to just put that into my regular trash. Now if it wasn't a mix, like for example, this one is an ABS plastic. It's hard to see, but right there it says ABS. This can go straight to my number seven recycle bin. And this is also a polycarbonate ABS as well. So those two will go to my trash and that big piece of white plastic, that will go to my recycle bin. Because our, our city, Fort Worth, actually is just quite lenient on their recycling policies. They have a, they have a big general, um, can recycle a whole bunch of stuff. Not just a very few amount, and very, very limitless. But anyway, here is just the antenna part. And there's a gold connector, which we can put into our gold pile as well as this main unit here and here we actually have a sim card that's pretty cool but this sim card is most likely for 
letting them know that you they have a subscription. So, you know, nice free bit of SIM. Nice free SIM card. But then if there's SIM cards. Now, we got this unit here. Whenever I see a battery, I always remove it. And it appears to be a Renata CR1225. And it happens to be a lithium battery, so this doesn't have any silver, so this will go into my trash. Now, of course we got this copper antenna. It's very flexible, so I'm guessing it probably is copper. But it's always good to check with a magnet. Yeah, it doesn't stick, so it's a copper antenna. That's cool. But one more thing is the antenna module is connected to this wireless module. So I'm guessing that was for the wireless um, scheduling and stuff. Looks like all we do is just undo these two screws to take out the wireless module. It's just like in a laptop. Now, just pop this out, and got ourselves a nice gold-plated connector there. The thing itself isn't really gold-plated. However, there's a nice, another nice connector there. And let's go ahead and pull off those, pull off this cover. one's a bit difficult so pulling this back here there's some seal I see a ton of chips all those appear to be chips there. All those little black dots. That's quite a few. Because these are 5 pin. So they have to be ICs. And there's our main chip there. And a couple small ones. And yeah, this is a pretty nice board. It has a lot of small chips that are easy to remove with the heat gun. I just go in and just get out my spatula. And just when everything heats up. Just scrape them all off at once. Now flipping it over. Let's see what's on this side. Okay, we're getting this off here. So it looks like a nice few large chips there. And that's pretty much it other than a few MLCCs. That's pretty much it. So once again on this big board here, nothing on the back. I mean, this is a very high grade board. Here there's this little board that's soldered on a daughter board. And there's a nice IC chip and a MLCC. But on this main board, there's a lot of nice big tantalum capacitors, those yellow boxes. And that little black box that has a white stripe on it that's below that battery connector. We also got ourselves a crystal oscillator here. And there. Here, on the processor module. And, yeah, that's pretty much the only ones. Over here, there's a nice gold-plated connector. Um, once again, on this board, there's a little chip there and an MLCC that's fairly large. But, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple one-board P2 
piece as well as two accessory boards. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, those little LEDs, those three boxes, those don't have any gold in them. They're just silver colored, so there's nothing there in gold for that part. But yeah, other than that, pretty good, actually. That was had quite a bit of stuff in there. I'm happy about it, you know, so... I'd say it's definitely worth it if you can get it for real cheap. I definitely would not have paid 99 cents for it. There wasn't that much in there. But a nice wireless module. An antenna module for the wireless. That would go with the wireless part. With a nice gold plated antenna. And an extra piece of copper there. And a nice board. So yeah. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. And I hope you found it interesting. And one more thing, my YouTube channel is, my secondary YouTube channel is now ready. I have finished, I have finished producing it and I've uploaded an intro video on the channel so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll have videos coming up on that channel very soon, I'll have the link into the description below and I hope you check it out and you find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.